Hello, welcome back to Let's Play um, Black Book. And I don't quite have the thing in place for a um, martyr deck yet, because I don't have the vampirism. I should have bought that book when I had the chance. But maybe it'll show up again. Once I get some good vampirism. Several steps over old moss are enough for the constant murmur of fir branches to cover you entirely. Before you, you see the rotting wooden frames of an abandoned village. You think to yourself, is this the fate of everything on this earth? I can get some vampirism to start with, but it wears off. Once I get some cards that let me get vampirism, then I'll start being able to use curse and vampirism so that I can keep my damage low but continue hurting myself or taking some damage so it keeps trigger when the, all the effects uh, find the herb a circle made of meadow flowers is in the middle of the village accompanied by a cold wind the old secrets the grim fir branches speak of causes the white petals of cuckoo's tears to shiver with fear you whisper the secret words and pick the herbs that grow here. But will it be enough for all the cursed? In the corners of the abandoned rooms, you see stoves like stone dead men. You peek into one ease bar and then into another. The village is abandoned by people and spirits alike. On the road, you see a wooden whistle. It belongs to Petka. It looks like you're on the right path. Hairat notices a wolf footprint among the rotten boards and impassable nettle. He says a lot of beasts have come through here recently. The path leads to the east. You also see some pieces of cloth. These are the cursed wolves. There's nothing worse than two Koldoons coming to blows. Once one of them, Nikita, was visiting us. The second one, Makar, who was a tad younger, came to guzzle some oat mash. So Nikita says, why did you come over uninvited? Go mind your own business. You're not the boss of me. What with such little power you have left? We'll see about that. Why don't you, kind host, step out? Things in here are about to get ugly. So everyone left except for me. I stayed in the corner hiding stealthily on the stove. Remember that? we Hiding on the stove? <coughs> okay. Excuse me. I did not mean to make that loud noise. Irat leads you along the wolf tracks. Sometimes he lets his falcon fly, and it seems to help him stay on the right path. The moss under your feet grumbles with every step. Shadows peer out from among the gloomy pines. Or could it be you're just seeing invisible spirits among the rustling branches? I could draw a circle. I could consult Ariat. could go after the you shadow. You step sideways from the path the hunter leads you along and hear a warning shout, but it's too late. A ravine opens beneath Whoops. your feet. Luckily, it's not very deep. You get up and look around nervously. The chort must have confused you. Yeah. Let's go this way. In the trembling light of the dying fire, you see a fisherman fighting a wolf pack. He tries to get away on a boat, fighting the beasts with his oar. Okay. Here we go. Add gesture. That's already a gesture. Um. Okay. Okay. Are we going to get any burning blood in on this? We are going to get a little bit. Okay, this is going to hurt. Yep. 
Yep, that definitely hurt. Okay. Oh, I already did it. Okay. Let's do a little bit. And we're going to do a little... There we go. That was a lot of damage to you. Okay. And he's going to die. Oh. Oh, there were more. Okay, cool. That is already a... We can make it a firm gesture. Let's not. Um... Okay. More of this. More of this. Actually, nope. No, not that. That. There we go. Take 18 damage. Because I healed myself. scatter. Looks like there were no werewolves among them. The grateful fisherman gives you all his money and his evening catch. After that, he crosses himself and bows to Palut. He assumes it was him who brought you. Okay. Gives me all his money. Yay. Um. What have you done, you rascal? The Shira River is famous not only for being the main passage route before the Taiga was cleared to make way for roads, but also legends of court regarding its origin. Not long ago, two blood brothers, Palud and Vetlan, fought for the heart of the beautiful Vishera and killed each other. The beauty's tears became the only mountain river in the Perm region. The bodies of the giant brothers turned into rocks and cliffs. Okay. Eastern Swamp. A gloomy river has slowly filled this glade, turning it into a rotting sore. You notice a black figure that jumps from hillock to hillock, all along the way, twitching in a strange manner. Your blood runs cold. 
Greedy Swamp Sludge grabs onto you when you try to catch up to the strange shadow. It's a werewolf. You call out to the wolf, but he only glances at you before disappearing into the trees. One more step. You're very close. But a strange half-wolf short appears with his retinue from the thicket. Half-wolf. Um, yeah, that's literally a half-wolf. Second brother's word. He's going to get 30 defense. Okay. Um... Get some initial Oh, I can't bless, can I? I might want to remove that card Currently immune to bless. There we go. What is this? Uh, why is that still in there? That needs to be gone. Okay, that goes. That goes. That goes. You have that. Use an allies cannot use an allies ability for ten turns. Okay. Okay. You're at eight. Uh, that's not going to help too much. Cool. Oh, nope. That's not going to help too much. Um, right now and nope cancel there we go Burn all those herbs. I need to buy more though. This is an expensive deck build. Oh, you gave 30 protection to somebody who's not around anymore. Oh, that's not going to help. What does piety do? Yeah, no, that's not going to help. Um, that needs to go away. Um, Keep doing that. Nope, nope, that's not what I want. It's... 
Where is it that I want? Firm knife. Where is it? I'm sure I would. It's in my hand. Oh, is the firm knife already? I guess it may already be gestured. Huh. It's immediate, can't undo it. Okay, um... That'll hurt him. Not that. That. Here we go. Oh, that's building up a little bit. Okay. So, going to go to the black book. Because this, well, first of all, items. I'm going to drop this. Um, I'm going to have that. Strengthening curse doesn't seem a terrible idea. Having a little bit of ward at the beginning doesn't seem a terrible idea. Okay, now going to the black book, dropping these that I just spent so much money on. Okay, dropping these. Excuse me. Well versed. Might as well throw one of those in. Um, no. I mean, it's not a terrible idea, but... It's only got one of those. Okay, so we're going to drop this and this. What we are going to do is grab two of those, two of those, two of these. Two of these, and then we are going to get the Damascus Stone. Oh, this can go away. Uh, yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, this should be fine. This is kind of a martyr build. Okay. Hunter's Isba. Shaggy fir trees are hugging a roughly built house, as if they are trying to close up a wound on the mossy bed of the forest. This izba is usually empty in the summer, but Ayrat notices human footprints leading to the ravine. You are able to find some Cuckoo's Tears flowers and pick them while reading Zagavers. So you have to read the proper spells to pick them to get the proper effect. Hunters often store supplies in case of a rainy day. Likewise, in this izba, you find a bark box with canned goods. 
Uh, sure. You stealthily put the supplies in your bag. <sighs> the Dang tracks it. lead to a foggy ravine and disappear near its edge. You stop in hesitation. Are they worth following? That wasn't even worth the plus one sin. Okay. I can't undo it now. A slimy fog flows at the bottom of this ravine. First, you hear hissing, and then a man emerges from the dark. Living snakes slither up <coughs> and down his staff. He's dragging a whining wolf with red eyes on a chain. Yeah, we want that wolf. God helps. God helps. Let the wolf go. It's no ordinary beast. I'm not playing games with you, girl. I can see that you are a knower yourself. These werewolves is my prey. So if you want to leave here alive, don't stand in my way. Listen, give me this werewolf and I will lift his curse. Why do you want him anyway? Lift the curse? So what? As soon as he entered my ravine, I saw by his eyes that he was a werewolf. I lift the curse myself as soon as we get to the village. His relatives will reward me for that. And if I make him human now, I'll have to watch over him. If he's on a chain like this, he'll run there by himself. Negotiate. So you want a reward? Will you accept it from my hands? Why not? I have the herbs I need right here. Do you have rubbles? Yeah. Be it as you wish. Give me the chain. The Kaldun tosses you the chain and the magic herb. After which... He disappears into the fog. You lift the curse from the werewolf and feel the fourth seal cracking. You're on the right track. Svoisilisa, what happened? Where are we? You were turned into a wolf, and then a snake Aldun nearly took you. Take out River Vazhaika, for instance. People say that in the olden days, a mighty and wicked Kaldun lived on the left shore across from the village. He had mastery over snakes. He could summon them and tie them into knots. He wasn't the boastful kind, but knew his business well. Once he wanted to set his snakes on our village, but couldn't manage it. Around that time of year, the winds had blown seeds of Marakic herb onto the right shore. The snakes were afraid of it. Marakic. And wouldn't swim across to the other side. Thus, the sorcerer didn't succeed at his misdoings. You tell the girl about the recent events and help her get to the road leading to Pakacha. After that, you continue along your way. Okay, and it's time for a new video. See you in a moment.